In this video, we're going to be going over how to find the surface area of triangular prisms. So by the end of this video, you should be able to say that you can find the surface area of triangular prisms. Now one important thing to note, you might want to put a star by this, is that triangles or triangular prisms have five faces, all right? And I'll get into what that means in just a moment. But make sure you write down this. It's very, very important to find the surface area of triangular prisms. Now, I first want to talk about how to find the area of three different types of triangles. First, we have scalene triangles. They have three different sides, different lengths. We also have isosceles triangles, and what that means is that two of the sides are the exact same length, these outside areas. And then we have an equilateral triangle, which means all three sides are equal to one another. So if this uh, length of our triangle is 8 meters, so will this side be also 8 meters, and the bottom side as well. In this case, we have three sides all equaling 6 meters. Now, to find the area of a triangle, as you know, we always use the formula base times height divided by 2. So in this case, the area of our triangle will be 4 meters times 3 meters divided by 2 equals... 6 meters squared. Over here, we're going to have the area of our triangle being equal to 5 meters times 2 meters divided by 2, which is 5 meters squared. And lastly, we have the area of this triangle being equal to 6 meters times 7 meters divided by 2, and 6 times 7 is 42. 42 divided by 2 is 21 meters squared. Now, we're going to go to our first figure, and what I'm finding as far as surface area is concerned is just like before when I'm finding the space inside of the shape or area, surface area is the space all around the shape. So if I take this triangular prism and I actually fold it out, you can actually see what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the area of all of these individual pieces. Now, if you remember, I mentioned that triangular prisms have five different faces, and what I mean is they have one, two, three, four, five separate faces, and that means five separate shapes, which we're going to have to find the individual area. So what I'd like to do, or like have most people do, is make five lines for your areas. So area one, area two, area three, area four, area five. And if you want, you can also draw, um, it's called a net, which is just the triangular prism folded out if that helps you best. Um, if not, if you can just visualize it, I would just suggest writing these five areas. So what we're going to need to do is if we want to find the total surface area, we're going to have to break these into five separate shapes. I'm going to start one, two, three, four, five. And if you notice here, here in our triangular prism, we actually give a length to the slanted side right here. Without a length on our slanted area, it's called the hypotenuse we won't be able to find the surface area. So we do need to know this length as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the surface area, or I'm just going to find the area of our triangles, this right here. And remember, that's just length, or I'm sorry, that's uh, base times the height. So I only care about the 4 and the 3. I'm ignoring the 5 for right now. So this is going to be 3 times 4 divided by 2, just like we found the area of this as well. And that's going to give us 6 meters squared. Now, just like last time, uh, for area 2, both of these triangles are the same uh, size. So I'm going to do the same thing. 3 times 4 divided by 2 equals 6 meters squared. So both the first and the second face have the same area. Now, we have to find our rectangles. We're actually quite easy, but you do have to make sure you are using the correct measurements. Now, I can see right here that the length of all of our figures is going to be 8. This is going to be 8. This rectangle is going to have a length of 8, and so is this one. So I'm going to write, first find the area of this first rectangle, and I can see that this side would have connected with this part of the triangle. So this portion right here is actually going to be 3 meters. So I'm just going to do 8 times 3 equals 24 meters squared. I'm also going to have 8 times our 4 meters right here. So 8 times 4 is equal to 32 meters squared. And lastly, I'm going to have this rectangle. Again, we have a length of 8 meters. Our width over here 
is that five meters from before over here. As you can see, if we have this section right here, if I folded this up, this would actually be five meters as well. So I'm gonna have eight times five equaling 40 meters squared. Now I need to find the total of all of these because I wanna find the surface area of the entire figure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add up all of these individual areas. And if I do that, I'm gonna get 108 meters squared for this figure. Now again, this is a scalene triangle. So this is actually gonna be one of the more um, time-consuming surface area problems, but our next two examples won't be as time-consuming, and you'll see why in just a moment. So here we have an isosceles triangle, and again, that means that we have two sides that are the exact same length. As you can see in this figure, we decided to give them a length of eight meters. So just like before, remember there are five sides, or five faces, to each um, to each triangular prism. I'm gonna have area one, area two, area three, area four, and area five. Because just like last time, my triangular prism has five faces. I have one, two, three, four, five faces. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna find the area of my triangle. I've already done that, but again, if I wanna find that it's two meters times five meters, divided by two, and that gives me five meters squared. So I found the area of my first triangular face, and this second one over here is gonna be the exact same size. So we're gonna have two meters times five meters divided by two, equaling five meters squared. Now I'm gonna to have to find the area of my rectangles. Now my first rectangle is going to have a length of 10 meters and a width of eight meters, and actually both uh, both uh, rectangle three and five have the exact same measurements because these sides are the exact same length. So for area three and five, I'm just gonna do eight times 10 equals 80 meters squared. And then again, eight times 10 equals 80 meters squared. I do have to solve the inside shape and that's actually gonna be just two meters times 10 meters. You can see the width right here being two meters, the length 10 meters. So two times 10 gives us 20 meters squared. Now again, I'm gonna to have to find the total area, the total surface area, and that's when I'm gonna add all of these figures together, and when I do that, five plus five is 10, plus 80 is 90, uh, 90 plus 20 is 110, plus 80 is actually gonna give us 190 meters squared. Now lastly, we come to our easiest tr uh, triangular figure to find, and that's gonna be a, an equilateral triangle where all of the sides are the exact same size. So I have six meters, six meters, six meters, and then we have this being seven meters. And as you remember from last time, we got that that was 21 meters squared. And now we're gonna give the prism a length or a height, whatever you wanna call it, of 11 meters. So just like last time, remember, we have five faces. I'm gonna find five areas. Area one, area two, area three, area four, and area five. And I'm gonna label these on the inside. You don't have to label them if you don't want to, but I'm just gonna do it for the sake of the video so I know what I'm finding. So the area of our triangles, just like over here, is gonna be seven meters times six meters divided by two, which is gonna give us 21 meters squared. And again, we have two triangles in this shape that are the exact same size. So I'm gonna have two triangles that are 21 meters squared each. And I actually have three rectangles that are the exact same size. They're all six meters from width and 11 meters in length. So six times 11 is 66. And again, six times 11 is 66 meters squared, and six times 11, again, is 66 meters squared. So then I'm gonna find the total of all of my areas and all of the faces together, and when I find the total surface area of this figure, I'm actually gonna get that this is 256 meters squared. So I hope that you learned how to find the surface area of triangular prisms 
And I hope you remember that prisms have five faces. Don't forget about that. Because this area method right here is really going to help you find the area of all the figures if you remember to find five separate areas. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, and good luck on the homework.